Hello and welcome to you another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'm taking a look at the um, Kylo Ren from the, the new Star Wars film, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, this isn't the uh, Kylo Ren from the Black series, this is a different one from a different series. Um, it's retailing for ten ninety nine um, and that. And considering its size, you know, it is a little bit bigger than this 3.75 inch Capaldi figure. But considering its size, I think it should be about the same price as a, a 3.75 inch figure, like a Doctor Who one. But then again, I think it's just because of the fact that uh, brand recognition, basically, it's Star Wars, so they can up the price because they know that they're going to make the money. Uh, on the figure because you know it's Star Wars so it's well known and you know lots of people who don't even really like sci-fi might even purchase a figure like this. Um, now I'm really excited about reviewing this and I'm really excited that I got this figure because I um, mentioned that there were some figures that I got um, in my new news um, but I didn't show them and this and the other Star Wars figure I got are those two figures. Now the thing that, the reason why I'm so excited about getting this one is because I was under the impression that I wasn't going to be getting this one full stop, so yeah. Um, accessory wise, he does come with these weird doohickeys, you know, collect and build parts for something, but I don't really care for that. Um, that as, is an indication of the fact that this is really for a uh, younger demographic, you know, definitely for people who are on a budget or are younger and therefore don't have that much money. Um, and that because again, it is only retailing for ten ninety nine, uh, whereas the Black Series uh, Kylo Ren, which will be in scale with like the five inch figures, um, Doctor Who figures, will be for like twenty nine, uh, twenty um, twenty pounds or twenty. Uh, and 99p or whatever but yeah um considering it's just a black figure it's got quite a lot of detail um you know like it's got this sort of detailing on the sort of lower piece and that um it's got this nice silver bit in the belt um the other accessory is the obviously the lightsaber which is nice it's got the nice little cross bl blade bit at the center and that and he holds it nice it's I wish the plastic was more of a stronger plastic as it bends quite easily and therefore it could easily snap uh, which is annoying and um, as I was saying the detail is nice and um, you know you get this sort of mesh like feel and that and then you get these sort of like uh, bandages black bandages across his arm and whatnot and then you get this sort of um, ragged material like effect on the um, figure for the sort of back of his cloak, um, like whereas Darth Vader's cloak is like fully like a full length body cloak, this is just sort of um, over the shoulder and that, and then you've got the hood which is very nice and that the hood isn't removable or like interchangeable with another head where he doesn't have the hood, which I'm all right with because again um, he actually looks more dark and menacing and that like from the behind and that or just from the front to be honest with the hood. Um, articulation wise is really bad uh, and that I would say something like this figure is actually more articulated than this one. But most people will probably say this is a better figure because it's Star Wars, and you know you can't say anything bad about Star Wars, um, which uh, which I personally think is nonsensical. Um, but yeah, it's like arms can go full 360, or this one can, but the other one can't because of the fact that the rest of the shoulder <laughs> is in the way. Um, there's no like elbow articulation, there's no hand articulation, there's no arm um, like um, going to the side um, articulation, what I mean by that is like that, you know, and there's no that, or full 360 hand, you know, you can't move the hand um, at all, and that, which is just so really bad, really. Um, the legs are movable, but only like outwards, and that's it, like, like he's kicking someone. Uh, in the crotch, or he's kind of walking a little bit, um, like, even when you move it, it kind of just looks really terrible, and that, um, and yeah, as I say, there's no articulation on the legs, as it's just one big plastic piece, and that, and like, the rest of the robe, uh, moulded around the feet, and that, or the, the whole leg, um, you can see the feet just sort of, or this foot 
sort of popping over the cloak, which is nice, I guess. Uh, they could have not done that, uh, as they haven't on the other one. You can only just about see it anyway. There is a bit of a gap, which is nice as well. That adds to the sort of authenticity of the figure, I guess. Um, and the head does go full 360, but obviously it is quite stiff and um, and that. And also there are certain angles. Oh, when you get it like to the back, it's obviously nonsensical and ridiculous anyway. So, but um, yeah, like it is very badly articulated. Detail-wise, it's pretty decent uh, and that. And it is a good representation of the character um, and that. I would put the lightsaber back, but with one hand it's quite a challenge um, to put his lightsaber back in his hand but um, it is a good representation and I mean the detail for the helmet is very nice as well you know or the face mask anyway um, is very nice it looks like Kylo Ren you can tell that it's him um, he's got that big sort of mouthpiece that goes down a bit um, from where I imagine his mouth is that's kind of where his chin is and that's sort of a below his uh, his actual chin and face uh, and then you've got the rest of the detail of the silver going across um, the forehead and sort of the silver around where his cheeks would be and where his eyes are there are little uh, gaps there so it's a decent figure for detail it's just I think the scope or, well not the scope the scale in which this figure is um, done in lends itself to be poorly articulated which is a shame but then again um this is aimed at uh kids and that the thing is um it's just that if it is aimed at kids then surely you'd put in more articulation than detail but then again um but yeah i think it's got a decent amount of detail and a decent well a poor poor amount of articulation and above average detail, that's what I'd say for this figure. Um, so all that in mind, I would still give it a 6 out of 10. It's a decent figure. Um, if you really like Kylo Ren as a character and you really liked him in Star Wars, then I think this is a must-have and I think you'll um, appreciate getting this figure. But if you're... Um, if you're kind of on the fence about it and you're not a massive fan of his character, then this might be one you want to skip, maybe. So yeah, um, a 6 out of 10 for Mr. Kylo Ren from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.